Today, it is sports science, so why not have a chat to the head honcho, the lead sports scientist, Tom Batchelor. Hello. Hello, how are you doing? Uh, very well, thank you. I want to get straight down to it because I keep hearing about sports science, why it's important in sport, why it's important in rugby. So why is it important in rugby? Uh, it, well, it's a good question. I think it's, it's mainly due to the demands of the game now. Like it's, it's so violent, it's so severe that we have to do everything we can to manage the boys' load throughout a year. Uh, to get the best out of them from a performance perspective, but also from like an injury perspective as well. Uh, so we've got various different technologies we use to try and get a good idea of where the guys are at. Uh, so we can make the best decisions we can for them as players and as people. Well, you have brought some toys to show us, yes. haven't you? We've got Domas' shirt here. Is this his actual shirt he's yeah, going to play in today? Yeah, this is today's shirt, yeah. So people at home will probably be familiar with seeing the lump in the back yeah. of the shirt. So all that is, is a... GPS unit so that will sit in the back of his shirt uh, and then that beams via the wonders of Wi-Fi to our laptop that's pitch side so we get real-time data and then also we download it after the game so we can then go through it a bit more um, accurately after the game so we can actually start picking out what what went on and then add that into our database so we can look at the whole training week. So who covers the most Meters, you measure it in meters? Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's probably not the most relevant of metrics because it, it's a game of collisions. The, the running numbers aren't astronomical. It's not like soccer, uh, but mostly you're back three boys. And then Marcus gets through a fair amount of work as well, uh, running around dictating things. Dictating things. In fact, the, the dinky dictator is just behind you there going through his pre-match preparation. Um, so this data that you've got, what does that feed into in the build up to a game and then after a game as well? What do you use it for? So a lot of it is about managing their load over the whole season. So we're looking at their sort of weekly volume of work, whether that's sprinting, high speed running, or just total volume of work. And we're also including scrum counts, line out jumps, uh, and the, co the collision load we get from the mouth guards. Um, and that gives us a whole picture of what their usual week's like. So we can start to look at, you know, what is way beyond their norms, what's undercooking them as well. Uh, so the boys this morning, the guys in the non-match day squad will have done a session at the training ground in Guildford. And we're just trying to make sure that when they are called upon, there's then not a massive jump up. But also it allows us to then sort of manage guys' loads through a, what is quite a long season. So when they get some time off, whether it's a few days or a whole week, we try and use that data to get a picture of who's getting through a lot of work and then who needs a rest. Yeah, super interesting you say that because there are some some lads today, particularly in the front row, we've got we've got Jordan and Joe who are expected to, to slot straight in, but they've hardly played any rugby. So it's it's really important that you've got that bank of information to make sure that they can hit the ground running. Yeah, no, exactly. I mean, it'll be a... I'm sure the boys will do us proud. It'll be a, it's about how well we can prepare them when they're not getting the game time so that when they do step in, there's no real drop off or difference to be honest. What about things like nutrition? Does that come under your remit as well? Uh, it's alongside, so it's not under my remit. We've got a, a nutritionist called Ted Munson who works alongside us and uh, he does a fantastic job of individually working with the players to sort of optimise their, their match day nutrition and as well as their normal nutrition throughout the week. So aside from, from this data then, the, the GPS stuff that's actually measurable, what other kind of numbers are you looking at? What other things are you, are you using to get a rounded picture on the players we've got here? So a lot of it is about trying to synchronize the data across all our different departments so we're trying to at the moment work on projects with the, the guys in recruitment the guys up in the analysis box as well because the the physical and the tactical kind of a massive interplay so it's getting a rounded picture that allows us to really dig into what happens during a performance like are mistakes caused by fatigue or are they just uh, errors in decision making and trying to get a better idea so we can help the boys maximize their talent